Hi, I'm Matt Lai and welcome to Guitar Dumbness, your online resource for guitar and musician techniques. Today's session we're going to be looking at taking that percussive strumming technique, the bluegrass chop I introduced in one of my previous videos, and introduce to you a drum kit sound, or beach drumming. The effect is this. So by contrast, if I were to play that without the beach drum, this is what we would have. So the reason why I developed the technique was because I love playing acoustic guitar in live sessions and certainly there's lots of great guitarists out there I'm going to have a bunch of links below this video who do amazing things just using their fingertips and certainly one of my most popular YouTube videos has been the <laughs> however I found that during live sessions especially when you don't have that luxury of being plugged in especially with lots of musicians, you are struggling to be heard. And with large groups, when you have violins and banjos and saxophones, there's not really a chance of you cutting through if you're just doing a lot of finger picking or finger tapping. It, you need the volume through the pick. As opposed to... Even though I'm going to use the technique I have expressed and have shown within both the other videos, so please go and watch them. The two hand tap, where I'm using the top part of the guitar body, and the bluegrass chop or percussive strum part one. So let's break the technique down. Now without any double tracking, I'm not using my foot to cheat or anything. This is purely your strumming hand technique exercise. So I'm gonna do a simple one, two, three, four beat. and I'm going to break down the movement and the main movement is really to get that kick drum, drum sound. So the simple one is the kick drum sound on its own, again using the top part of the body and you're just literally dipping down in that kind of motion, landing on that part of your wrist. The trickier one is actually playing a note together with that movement. Now when you're slapping it was quite easy to do because you're naturally moving down. However, when you're strumming, your motions are actually more up and down. So in order to do the downward stroke, you're actually going to flick. So instead of just doing a downward motion like that, you're going to flick, flick across. So what you're actually doing in slow motion is as you're coming down, you're raking across the strings and hitting the guitar body. And I've found the best way to get the best sound is to try and bounce that, so. So lastly, just to share with you one little tip, especially if you do get the chance to plug your guitar in, your acoustic guitar. Now, not all of them have the capability of picking up all the tones from the guitar body, like. In which case, you might need to speak to a sound engineer, get them to understand where you're coming from, and also maybe even mic yourself up. A lot of country and bluegrass players actually use real mics rather than plugging them directly straight in. And that's pretty much it. So like I broke down with the other two hand tap and the other percussive strum technique, it's all about figuring out where in your strumming pattern you can fit these tones in. So as I said, as an acoustic guitarist, you will get to love this. Um, it's a very unusual technique and it's worth pursuing because from that point onwards, you'll have both finger picking to strumming. Beat strumming. So one activity and exercise I think just to get you going is again, one, two, three, four, and now to groove in.
which case i hope you enjoyed that please take the time to get used to the technique it's well worth it have a great time and i'll catch you next time cheers